Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Nina. If you are new here, welcome. So happy to have you. If you're not, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are continuing with our Taylor Swift love songs for Valentine's Day week. I couldn't not teach this song this week because the song is literally from the movie Valentine's Day. <laughs> and this song is so cute. And every year I just have to watch this movie just because I just have to. We are going to be learning Today Was a Fairy Tale. This is a really fun song. It's got a really fun riff in it that I'm gonna teach you. I like this song because if you're a beginner, you can just play the basic chords, but if you want to do a little bit something more, there's some ways that you can make it a little bit more intermediate. And if you want to see the tab that I wrote for this song with all the chords and the lyrics and everything, you could click the link in the description box. It'll take you to my website where I post all of my tabs as PDFs so you can download it so you can play along with me. Okay, let's Let's get into the video. Okay, for this song, there's gonna be no capo, so we love that. And the chords that you are going to need are D, G, C add 9, E minor 7, and that's it. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'm gonna teach you guys is this fun little riff that's like in the intro. And the way that I play it is more with strumming rather than picking, so I kind of play it like this. <laughs> to do more strumming rather than picking so I'll show you what I do but basically the intro is going to be G C E minor 7 D the first thing you're gonna do is down up and this is the part where you're gonna do a little bit of picking so you're gonna pluck the fifth string and you're gonna hammer on that first finger onto the second fret fifth string so it's gonna sound like this And then after you do that, you pluck, hammer on, and then you're gonna hammer on your second finger onto the fifth string third fret. If you don't wanna do the hammer ons, then you can just pluck each note. So open, zero, two, three. So all together it's gonna be down, up, and then the next part is going to be with the C at nine. And so when you hammer on that your second finger on the third fret is when you're gonna already be on the next chord, which is C at nine. And you strum up, down, up. And then this is gonna be the second part of the riff. You're kind of gonna do the opposite. So you're gonna pluck the fifth string and basically, your both of your fingers are gonna be on the fifth string. So when you pull off, it's gonna go from three to this note, which your first finger is on. So, and then you're gonna pull off that one. So it sounds like this. And again, if you don't wanna do the pull off, you can just do this. And then the last one is right here. Your second finger on the third fret, sixth string. And for me, I just like to hammer on that note. I don't pluck it, but you could if you want to. But basically how I do it is like this. What that all together is gonna sound like is like this. And then the next part is going to be E minor seven, down, up, down, up, and then D. And then for the D, what I like to do is a little bit of hammer on pull off stuff with this D sus four thing with your pinky and then um, my with my first finger. So what I do is down, up, down, up, and then I strum down and I pull off this first finger right here. So it kind of makes a da -na sound. And you can also hammer on the E minor seven. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that where it's It takes a while to get the hammer-ons and the pull-offs down, but if you're a beginner, don't worry about it. But I'm just gonna show for whoever wants to like have an intermediate kind of version of this song. I'm gonna do that all together just to show you guys. So G. So basically, you're gonna do that twice for the intro. And 
and that's just kind of the more advanced version. But if you do not want to do all of the hammer-ons and picking and all of that, you can just do it completely normal. The strumming pattern is going to be down, up, up, switch, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then go to the next one, E minor, down, up, up, and then D, down. And that's the intro and now moving on to the verse it's basically going to be the same chords so we've got G C E minor D four times and then the first verse kind of has like two stanzas so that first part is going to be four and then you're going to keep going and you're going to do that two more times and then it goes into this little pre-chorus line where it's like time slows down and that part's gonna be a little bit different but let me just play the verse for you it's gonna be the same thing as the intro so today was a fairy tale you were the dance i used to be a damsel in distress you took me by the hand and you picked me up the six today was a fairy tale So that's just that first part. Second part is the same. You wore a dark gray t-shirt. And then when it goes to this pre-chorus part, it's going to be E minor, D, C, D. The only difference is that for this part, each chord is going to get a full measure of strumming, I believe. So we've got E minor. Time slows down. So that part at the D, I like to down strum it to just build up to the chorus because it is a very like a chorus that just hits really hard. And so the chorus is going to be the same chords as the verse in the intro, G, C, E minor, D, and it's going to be the same exact strumming and everything. So we love that. We got G, down, up, up, C, down. I'll just play the chorus for ya. And then it goes into verse two, which is the same as the first verse. Um, and the pre-chorus and that next chorus and then we get to the bridge and the bridge chords are going to be E minor D C D and then it goes to this like muted version of the chorus that's like really soft and slow so let's do the bridge so each chord is going to get like a full strumming pattern so we've got E minor down up up down up up down up down up D It's gonna be different is when it's the very end when she's like I can't put this down I'd like to do just like a down strum again like a build up kind of thing so and then I cut it so that you can bring it down so just down strum that part. And then for this part, I like to do a little bit of picking. So for the G, I'm going to pick 6, 4, strum. And then I'm going to go to C at 9. And I'm going to do 5, 4, strum. And then E minor, 5, 4, strum. And then D, 4, 3, strum. So it's going to be like this. Can you feel this magic in the air? Must have been the way. That's when you could kind of build it up where it's like fell in love when I saw you standing there. And then it goes back into the chorus and it's the same thing as we have done. And then there's a little outro. You're just going to keep playing the chorus chords over and over again where it goes.
and the song is kind of low for my vocal range so if i was like performing it or singing it or something i would probably cable it on the first fret um but yeah that's the whole song it's a very easy one really fun i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give it a like if you did i hope you guys enjoyed the little intro bit let me know if you guys want me to to explain more variations like if you guys want to be challenged more let me know so i can add more intermediate variations in my tutorials but that is it for this video if you want to see the full play along with me singing with all the chords and strumming pattern on the screen with me then you could check out my video on my music channel you can click the link up here i post a full playthrough of me singing full song full speed and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tutorials i post every tuesday and friday and i'll see you guys in the next one bye